Okay, go ahead with start with your name, where you say yeah, my, my name is Helmut. Is it running? Yeah. My name is Helmut Orkler. Uh, I'm a veteran from the Panzergrenadier Division Groß Deutschland, 17th Company, Schwere Infanterie Geschütz, 150 mm. I was three years in this uh, in this uh, division and uh, spent my time at least a year and a half in Russia. I was wounded four times. My uh, medals were the Iron Cross second and first class. The uh, silver wound, uh, yeah, the equivalent of four Purple Hearts, of course, and uh, a couple of other medals I don't know. I don't even want to know anymore. <laughs> so, uh, what you fire away, whatever you want to know. How old were you? Were I, you conscripted? I was. Drafted? I was conscripted. I was drafted to a volunteer division at that time. What it was. <laughs> How old were you? I was 18 years old. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> I was almost uh, to the date, uh, three years in the army. And. Uh, we were drafted in, I was drafted in June, and of course the war was over in May, May 8th, I think, yeah. I was lucky to be in the, the Americans, captured by the Americans, and, uh, well, <clears throat> all the bad stuff happened after the war, really. See, we were young, we were very foolish as uh, a lot of others were, because <laughs> we didn't question, and you don't question. That's why any army can only use young people. As soon as you get older, you start asking questions. So, uh, I was glad that I was, I was glad that I was in this particular division, because, uh, for various reasons, because we were so welded together, I should say, through the uh, experience in Russia, through the training, first of all, we had. <coughs> I almost got a peacetime uh, six months recruit uh, as a recruit, and uh, ultimately then in Russia. Never got out of that thing. <laughs> Every year, every year the rumors started to come to the West. See, my father was here since 1926. I was two years old when he left. <coughs> Excuse me. And, uh, of course, the chance was always there when you fight against the emergency that, you, that I could go like that, you know. Never happened. Never happened. So. But I, in, a, in, the, in the long run, I was glad, I was really glad that I was there, as brutal as it was. It, it, I, I must say that because those guys here, they, they get a little picture, uh, quite a few guys. We had a reunion uh, three weeks ago in Monster in Germany. And uh, of course, all the veterans are at least 80 years and older. And still, the feeling is still there. And uh, this is great. This is really great. I mean, you see, you see sometimes, and sometimes people here after two, three years, nobody knows. But it's an experience. When you were youth, what organizations did you participate in? When we were here? No. When, uh, when were you in Germany? Oh, when you were a teenager, or? A yeah. Well, I was. You know, I in a, was a youth, young folk, what they call it. Yeah. And. Uh, I, that's right, we had to, we had to be in there, it was a must, and uh, that's just about all what, what it was, so, uh, so it's a lot of peer pressure and, and forced to conform well, to, well, yes, well, uh, you know, I was a kid in those days, whoever, whoever did, you wouldn't even dare to question, uh, you did whatever you were told, and, uh, and you know, I was more or less, and still am an individual. I, I, I'm not a joiner. Did your parents kind of push you into it at no, all? Or? No, no, no. Uh, 
My, I was more or less formed by my grandmother because my father was here and the, the marriage was dissolved. And uh, I had a stepfather later on and uh, we did not, uh, it was bad. But maybe, maybe that's why I was an individual, you know. And, uh, so, uh, and I still am. Uh, I'm, as I said, I'm not a joiner. And before, before, before I sign on the dotted line, uh, I gotta be convinced about it when I'm what, what activities did you uh, participate in as a youth? What kind of things did you do to, uh, as part of the organization that you belong to? What? Well, I, I didn't belong. I just belonged to the to the German Army. I, uh, okay. That was the only the only the only, only involuntary right. okay. activity I had. So, uh, so you weren't part of any of the no, youth organizations? No. Okay. And as, as our division especially was, we were totally non-political. Okay. It was never. Uh, here, the, the Hauptmann here from this company asked me, he said, how are you, what, what was discussed with politics? I said, I can't remember, we, we, we never did. Was that difficult for you being, was it, did that place you on the outside, kind of? Was? No, see, the thing is, the way we were trained, <clears throat> There were some restrictions before you could, you had to be a certain height, at least there was a minimum height, and uh, it, the training was, well, at that time I thought it was pretty brutal, but it welded you together, it did weld you together, and you did, maybe that's why it was so tough outside in Russia, because he wanted to kill us for the worst way. At least the, the odds were usually three to one, four to one. In the end, it was twelve to one. Can you imagine that? Twelve to one in the end, the last couple of months. He wanted, he wanted to. Yassi, whoever remembers that, whoever lived through it, we talked about it here with the guys. Now this was a battle. It was a battle in Yassi, in Romania. Okay. He wanted to. He wanted to demolish, to uh, rub out our division, then the way would have been free to Ploesti to the oil fields. Never did, never did make it. We gave up one mile. That was it. Can you imagine? It was an impossible answer. We had about a, a thousand tanks fighting each other. It combined. He probably, had, he probably had 700, we had 300. What time of year would it have been? 44, 1944. Would it have been winter or? No, it fall? was summer. Okay, it was summer. May 2nd. Okay, so it wasn't the worst of it May you 2nd. were going to no, see it then? Was, it was always warm. Were there. you captured before the Germans had to withdraw from? No, no, I was captured, as a matter of fact, I was home already. And in the end, okay. uh, all of a sudden, I came and everybody locked their houses, of course. And uh, I had to wait a little bit before the door was open, and the American patrol, luckily, I lived in a town, on the outskirts of the town, there were three bridges, on this side were the American, and a hundred yards, there were the Russians. That's how close they came. And I have seen, I have seen personally, the hundreds of raped women. We had a huge, quite a, quite a large hospital in this town. And five days later, it was four, four women.